The Samsung S21 Ultra Video Editor. The best free video editor is already on your device. Editing video on your phone is incredibly important these days. I'd, I'd actually say that it's imperative, especially for a device that has a name Ultra in it. That's why the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra really stands out and this feature is an often underlooked feature. Built within the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is an extremely robust video editor that's created for content creators. I bet you didn't know that. Using the device to film, edit, and upload really means that this is your all-in-one content creation device. I firmly believe that for most new and veteran creators, your mobile device is the single most important tool that you have. It can literally, potentially, do everything for you when it comes to content creation. This video is sponsored by Samsung Mobile South Africa, and I've had a relationship with them for quite some time, and they've asked me what I think I should create in this video series, um, and what I think is important to content creators, and there's a lot. So if you guys want to watch that stuff, just make sure to hit the like button, subscribe. I'm very excited for the videos that we're gonna be dropping. All right, okay, so to edit video on your Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, I jump into the gallery, select a video, and tap on the pencil at the bottom of the screen. Alternatively, you can tap play on the video, then tap on the three dots and tap create movie. From here, you'll select the clips from your gallery that you filmed or downloaded to use in your video. They don't only have to be videos either, you can also add images. Once you've selected the media that you want to use, tap on done. You'll now be thrown into the built-in Samsung video editor. Each media is represented by a block with a smaller block between each clip that represents your transitions. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see three icons with one highlighted in yellow. The one highlighted is your current timeline that you're editing and the one in the middle is titles, subtitles and text and the last one is adding music to your project. Let's jump back into the timeline for a second. Here you can scrub through the media by dragging your finger along the footage and you'll see a preview in real time. This style of editor is called a linear editor. So any new footage that you add will just slot into the spaces in between. Wherever the playhead is, it'll highlight that piece of footage. So if you have any edits that you'd like to make on that particular piece of footage, that's how you highlight it. Let's get into that. Once you've highlighted some footage you, that you'd like to edit with the playhead, tap on it and then you're gonna get some editing options. The one you're going to use the most is the pencil. Tapping on it opens up the clip in the editor. Here you can trim the clip, color grade the clip, crop the clip, add stickers, draw over the clip in either a live drawing mode or simply just draw over the entire duration of that clip. You can do face work to your images by tapping on the face, like you can smooth your skin, you can change the shape of your jawline, you can even increase your eye size, so vloggers are gonna totally love this. There's a button to rack the speed to either half speed, one time speed, or double time, and lastly, you'll be able to adjust that clip's overall volume, which if you edit videos, you know is important. Once you're done, tap done in the top right hand side of the screen and it'll update the clip in your video editing timeline. To change a transition, tap on the transition box in between each clip and you'll be able to select between a range of common transitions like cross dissolving, fading, sliding, wiping, all the stuff that you expect from a normal editor. If you don't want that particular transition to work universally on your entire edit, make sure that you uncheck the all option in the transition tray. This makes things a little bit easier. To edit in a text title, click on the bottom middle icon. Here you'll be able to choose the style of your title and edit the contents. Lastly, when it comes to editing, you may want to add music for some finishing touches. Tap on the music icon in the bottom right of the editor. Here you'll see two sliders, one for main video volume, which will be the loudest setting, and the background music, which will be muted. To add background music, tap the add or plus button. Samsung has a selection of music that you can use, some of which are actually license free, so that's great too. But if you have your own music licensing site like uh, Epidemic or Artlist.io, you just make sure that you've downloaded some of that music on your device first. Once it's on your phone, like say you've downloaded a song that you'd like to use, in this menu, tap the plus button in the top right hand corner. Here you'll see the audio files that are available on your phone, including music that you've downloaded and even voice notes. So you can get creative and maybe even add a voiceover at this point of the video. Once you're done, you can either share or save your edit directly at the top of the screen above your edit. Give your Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra some time to export. And if you're uploading to YouTube, I recommend saving your edit and then uploading it in your particular software. But a lot of social media apps like TikTok and Instagram support uploading directly from the share button on your Samsung device. So that option exists as well. 
And it's as simple as that. Yes, there are some other third party apps like KineMaster or Adobe Rush, but they do cost money and they might be worth getting into once you've gotten used to editing on your phone. In the meantime, the built-in editor is extremely powerful. It's free on your device and you can conceivably edit vlogs, TikToks or Instagram Reels in no time, just simply by using it from the gallery. It's just one of those features that really justifies why Samsung have called the S21 Ultra Ultra. What are your favorite editing apps and what is your favorite feature on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra? Let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna be there chatting to you guys. I really wanna know a little bit more about what your opinions are and you know, teach me something. I like to be taught something, that's, that's really important. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.